Recently, Grace sent me this and said that I needed to update some information about my account. All right, so they wanted me to update my account information. Although I had provided this when I was making the account, I find it strange that they are asking me to do it again. But I just want to show you how to do it in case you are having the same issue with Gray or in case you have the same issue in the future. So you just want to come here, click on update account information. And since it's been there, I've not really noticed anything because honestly, I don't use Gray that much, but um, I don't really know the restriction that will cost you, but I just want to do it because I don't like errors on my dashboard. So you need me to update my work information, which means my occupation where I work and uh, my income band. So what I'm going to do is click on the button there and we'll come here. So you want to answer if you're a freelancer or if you're a full-time employee. So the idea for Gray is that um, Gray was practically designed for African freelancers or Nigerian online workers so that we can receive money um, internationally or globally. So you can say if you're a freelancer or if you're a full-time employee. So if you're a full-time employee and you receive payment from people, you can use this. If you're a freelancer, you can use this. So I think I am more of a freelancer. So I select the freelancer and I want to select the um, platform. Which platform, um, freelance platform do you use? So you come to the platform, you see different ones. We have Amazon KDP, which is not really a freelancing um website but they just put everything together so you might want to come here so we have behance for um, designers we have um, etsy for e-commerce guys we have facebook for the content creators we have um, feed creates i don't know what that is so we have fiverr google adsense gumroad and a whole lot of them so you can look for the one you want here so me, I'm going to use YouTube. So to use YouTube, I can use the Google AdSense because if you, if you um, receive payments on YouTube, you have to use Google AdSense. So here you want to select your job title. So you can come here, search for a job title. And there are a lot of them. So if you're an accountant, blah, 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 a whole lot of things. So for me, I would be under publishers, I think. So what I'm going to do is to come here and search for publisher because this is what google refers to us or refer you get the point man so i'm going to say i'm a publisher so i select that i'm a publisher with google adsense they want you to select your income band how much you make i don't think this is very very important so i'm just going to select anything right here so let me just see maybe around five hundred dollars to one thousand you can select anything that you want so i'm just going to use that one so they want you to provide them a link um to your um profile so it can be uh maybe your freelance let's say if you use fiverr you give them your fiverr link if you say you get job on linkedin you give them your linkedin link if you say you are using YouTube like me, you have to give them your YouTube link and all of that. So I'm just going to go to YouTube and get my YouTube link and I'm going to give it to them. So now I've copied my um, YouTube link and I can put it right here. So um, this is one of my YouTube channels. So I have a couple of them in case the link is different from what you are watching this video on. So once you've done that, you can just click on submit and then you can submit it. So it's saying invalid URL. I don't know why. So let me, let's see if I can remove this. So let me remove that and see if that works. Again, it says invalid URL. So that doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is just to give them my LinkedIn profile because I also have a LinkedIn profile. So let me go to my YouTube and I should be able to get my LinkedIn from here. So I'm going to put my LinkedIn um, link here and hopefully that works now. So I click on submit 
and that has worked so it says my job information has been completed and i think that um, issue should be sorted now so if they do not sort it i will need to message the support because i can't so you can just come here click on this and you can message the support but let me go to the home page and see if the um, error is still there doesn't look like it's there now so we are good so in case you have this issue this is how you can fix it i hope this video helps you thank you for watching bye bye